Salut, ça va? And welcome to Soft Hints. In this video, I want to speak about elegant ways of finding most or less common element of a list. We will see uh, two ways and how to use them and what is their performance. And we will do some demonstrations. Before to start with all this, I wanted to share with you another joke from commit strip. It's about entering views and uh, always forgetting which is the right key. Are you in the same situation? For example, I have uh, three different uh, computers and uh, on uh, three of them I have different keys. And finally it's a mixture and I never know which is the right key for the right PC. Please do share in the comment section below do you have this problem and how do you solve it? I will wait for your answers. And let's go on our examples. The first one is uh, using a counter from collections. And the second one is uh, by using a set and then uh, uh, giving a count as a function. Here we will demonstrate the first one. We import counter from collections, then we create a new counter with uh, this line here. Finally, we iterate over our list and we increase the counter each time when we uh, met an element. And now we will see what is the output of uh, these two lines here. The first one is giving uh, the most common elements and you can give a parameter how many of them do you want. And next one is returning the whole counter. As you can see, we have uh, each element and the number of times which is present in this list. You can uh, easily change uh, the number of items, for example, the first fifth. And you can see them here. This will help you if you have uh, more than one uh, element in this list with uh, equal number of uh, present in this list. Uh, for this uh, element and I have a question for you. Can you guess how we can get uh, the less common element with uh, this counter? If you want you can pause the video and think a bit and I will give you on this answer in a second. Maybe you can think that we have another function less common or maybe we will try to use minus here in both ways you're wrong the right answer is to decrease the counter and finally we can get the them in a reverse order as you can see right here so if you want to get uh, less common elements with counter you need to decrease the counter and finally you will get the order which is reverse I think that there is another way using a uh, reverse but I wasn't able to make it work so if you know the answer please do share it I will wait for this answer and you can use uh, also keys and values for counters and finally to see the number of items which uh, are met in this uh, uh, list and you can uh, check more about counters on this link here and you will see some examples and how to use them okay so let's move on the next one next example it's a bit more pitonic way or at least if you, if i can say it like this we have uh, our list then we are applying a set we are getting our uh, unique elements from this list then we are applying a count to each of these elements and finally we return the max. You can see the result here which is free and this is the correct answer. Uh, before to, if you are a beginner you can think uh, why this is working. You can see what is doing first this one. This is returning unique list of our in first list and uh, this set is uh, really faster and easier to be used uh, in your applications then what we are doing is uh, we are applying uh, for each of these elements 
function count over this list and we are counting each of them we return element and we apply max in order for you to imagine what we are doing you can see this uh, little program it seems that I have problem with indentations but never mind mm, you can see the list here we have max element we have uh, element and we iterate through all unique lists uh, all unique elements sorry and we are comparing uh, with the count we are counting all the elements we are counting them and we are checking uh, uh, is it bigger than max element and then we are printing the result ok so here we have 3 and 4 I was thinking is my logic correct here for checking max element but I think it's correct and as you can see here I have a number element uh, number element sorry <laughs> I have element 3 which is number and it's presented 4 times in this list and this should be equivalent to previous code that we saw which is this one or at least equivalent in uh, some other universe which uh, we are not perf and we are not perfect and uh, we can match things like this and this is good for beginner now let's see if you want to get a less common element then what you can do with this code sorry I will delete this then you can change this from max to min not mix sorry and now you can see that 6 is the less common element of uh, this lists but you have more than this and you can play a bit to get all of them I mean for example 12, 14 they are present only once and finally you can do the same for a list of strings it's going to work in the same way as you can see right now here we have that A is the most common element of this list uh, if we speak about performance uh, I'm using uh, Python 3.6 I run several tests we can check results here uh, not results but the test itself and the test environment uh, I'm using uh, Python 3.6 PyCharm PySpy and SIP profile and these are the tests 1 million times run uh, these both examples uh, once uh, and uh, run them to find uh, the most common element and then once uh, use it for a really huge list and I have a similar performance which means that uh, which of both uh, ways you're going to use depends on you that's all about this if you have any questions or problems or ideas and solutions please do share them i will wait for them if you want to see my previous or any video from me you can go on the channel if you like the content or you if you have any ideas please do share them i will wait for your comments and ideas as always thank you for watching and see you next time